When I talk money, the bitch listen. E36 drifting. VV steak, listen. 100 grams on the neck on any given. And y'all niggas is fake litting. I'm trying to convince the people that I'm fake litting. Dollar. Oh, he a uh, bunch dollar. What up? Oh, uh, hey, bro. We gotta get our change up. Remember me from day one. What's up, what's up, world? It's your boy Knowledge of God, hiphopisreal.com, and we are here with a hip hop legend. And y'all already know what it is, man. Bobito in the building. How you feeling up, today, up? man? I'm chilling. I'm over here, SNS Ball downtown. Me, Break Me Loose, Sue Sweet, the Whip, I can have my brothers. We rock uh, different venues around the world. And tonight we had the, at the world famous SNS Ball. You know, they started in Stockholm. They got a sticker shop around the corner, so I try to rep them as best as I can. Um, many years you've been really holding this hip-hop culture down, man. You've got some legendary things that you've done in this culture. And now also in the sneaker game, you're doing some amazing things. I'm here with my bro Tiger. He got the official Bobito Pumas and all of that. Um, just, you know, if you could, man, just talk about how, what got you into hip-hop? What got you into this culture uh, so early in your career, man? Well, I mean, you asking me loaded questions. Uh, I could best share that I did a film called Rock Rubber 45s. Um, it's an autobiographical documentary. I encourage everybody who wants to learn about how I got into, into the game, how I've affected globally this culture, you know, not just hip hop, basketball, uh, sneakers, you know, how they're all three of them are related in my life um, and in my imprint. Um, I also directed a film titled Stretching Bobito, Radio That Changed Lives. That was on Netflix for a good three years. Uh, still, you know, on iTunes, Vimeo. Uh, and I also did another film titled Doing It In The Park, Pick Up Basketball, NYC. Um, so, you know, that's been my last eight years, just dedicating myself to documenting this culture on film as best as I can and trying to share my, you know, my passions, whether it's been basketball, sneakers, you know, music, books, yeah, I mean, I've been fortunate to do a lot of different things. You know, the new project, the current one is me and Stretch. We have a band called the M19s. Our new album drops on January 17th. It's titled No Requests. Um, it's gonna be available on, actually, we have four singles already out. Uh, two of them feature Mumu Fresh, AKA Mamuna Youssef, who's a Grammy nominated uh, singer, with, formerly with The Roots, she's solo now. And we were blessed to have a part of this project. And. Uh, we got some breakbeats on the album, we got some soul on the album, we got some heavy Latin on the album, it's jazz on the album, it's like, it's a lot of different things, it's just really, you know, what me and Stretch do as DJs, but now we're like curating it for our band, the M19s, and so we really hope that everybody pays attention to it. Mm. Be, uh, being in this uh, culture for so long, um, what is your favorite era of hip hop, man? <laughs> you was in it when it was summer. summer. Yeah, I mean, favorite era would be tough. Because I'm born in 1966, right? So, I mean, I would say fondest would be the 70s, really. Because it was the most innocent. You know, I remember when my boy Craig Raddix for the Zulu Nation introduced me to b boy and introduced me to Ramen. It was like 1977. And... It was more like, just like something fun to do, like playing Scalzi's or playing ball or playing Ring of Lario. It was just another thing to do. I didn't know that it was gonna last this long or become the money maker that it is, you know, around the world. So, you know, I think that was the moment where it was just the most pure, you know, the most just doing it. But I mean, I stayed, you know, to this day, like even as a DJ in 2019, you know, still do it for the love, you know? Mm. Um, what is, um, as far as musically, what era had some of the best music when it comes to Uh, it's interesting. Hold on. I got a DJ. I don't want to be disrespectful okay, okay, to no the problem. end. That's okay. I get, this will be the last question. Um, interesting uh, question because, you know, everybody knows me and Stretch for our radio show in the 1990s on WKCR. You know, affectionately known as 89 Tech 9. We introduced the world of Nas, Big E, Wu-Tang. Big L, Jay-Z, Eminem, uh, you know, CoFlow, on and on and on. But, you know, me and Shetra will say, 
the 90s wasn't the golden era. It's actually musically for us, as far as hip hop goes, it's, it's 86 to 89. That's when, you know, Rakim and G-Rap and Ultra Magnetic and BDP and Slick Rick and, you know, Tribe and Jungle Brothers, all of them start in that era. Farrell March, even in, in that era. Uh, Jay is from that era. You know, Big L wasn't rhyming publicly in that era, but he was a student in that era. You know, Nas was a student during that era. Um, and you look at anybody today that's really popping, that's making waves, they're products of that era. Rakim set the bar so high, and then Nas set the bar, you know, in his way afterwards. And, you know, it's has, hasn't been met since. So mm. 86 to 89 is crucial. And Word up, yo, fellas, mad love. I, I, got, I gotta ask you one last thing, one okay. last thing, just as a you know hip hop guy, okay. man. Jay Z and Big L. I don't know if you if they talk about this every time you probably talk to somebody, but that was like one of the illest freestyles I ever heard in my life. Back and forth, Jay Z and Big L. Um, how did you enjoy that moment? Or how what's that moment mean I, I, to you? I tell I tell everybody this. Watch the film Shush and Bobito Radio that Changed Lives because not only do I talk about it, Shush talks about it, but also we got Primo and AG and Showbiz and you know the people that were important you know Lord Finesse the people that were important to L's life and uh, you know I highly encourage you again the documentary all three of my documentaries are Vimeo, iTunes, YouTube, Amazon, Hulu, Roku, whatever um, you know some of them are available on DVD so check them out enjoy the history YouTube channel now for your chance to win $50 each week who will make it? Who will fall? The clock is ticking. This is a platform where your skills are put to the test. From the moment that the beat drops, each artist will have exactly three hours to complete a hit record. If not, they will have fallen victim to the writer's block. Do you have what it takes? Are you up for the challenge? Or are you afraid that your time will expire before your song is complete? Subscribe now and find out which artists will fall to the writer's block.